You know where I live. You know where my mama live. You know my grandma number. You know my brother number. You know my sister. You know all the numbers. Nothing is going to stop me from seeing my baby. Period. Do you get what I'm saying? Girl, I will pull up. Girl, I will stalk you outside your house. Girl, I don't care if you call the police. Girl, let's do it. You want to throw them heads? What? what? <laughs> you, I done told y'all from the jump. And I said what I said. You not taking my baby. Period. Up to all the trollers. Please say whatever you need to say in the pinned comment. Please. So I can either or block your ass or address. Oh, damn. Tatiana, what I call her, she a bust down. Yeah, my homie just smashed scoring touchdowns. She got some good cat, nigga, we could go rounds. Take me in, shit, I kind of want some more now. Uh. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nigi the host. I need y'all to go subscribe to my girl, Juju TV. She currently has 15 subscribers. She used to have 700, but something happened to her old channel. She does everything like pranks, challenges. Um, she actually made a Damo wig, which is hilarious. And uh, she has a pretty fun channel. Also, she's a mom as well. And she's gorgeous. So I need y'all to go subscribe to her right now. Her channel is right here. Her dis her link will be in the pinned comment and the description. Y'all enjoy the video. And I started balling. I was embarrassed. None of my friends knew. Tori would have been like, the fuck is going on? Because I stayed. I was embarrassed because I let my son get treated that way. I will always defend my son, no doubt about that one. Mm -hmm. But it's the fact that I even stayed in that position to even... Go through that. Why would I put my son in a position where he's not cared for, where he's not loved? Why would I put my son in a position where he does not come first? I've always tried to give her the benefit of the doubt all the time. And I was just like, I don't know. I know she's not ready and I know this and I know that. And she kept telling me, you have to do what's best for you and Dominic. My mother, you have to do what's best for you and Dominic. Her mother, you have to do what's best for you and Dominic. Everybody kept telling me. You have to do what's best for Dominic. It's crazy because people that are from her past, now when I mean past, I mean like a month, two months ago, not that long ago, have contacted me. I'm like, okay, this about to be on some drama. How did you even get my information? Like, oh my God. Like basically on some can we talk type stuff. And I'm like, yeah, what? What an attitude. Because I know what you're about. I know who you chill with. I just know what's up. I know who you're friends with. I'm not dumb. So long story short, call me about surprise a few people. Pay to apologize to me. People that are, were actually really, 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 Really close to her. And they were basically like, you know, you were right. I don't know who she is. I don't know who this person she's becoming. She's really good at playing the victim. And I'm sorry. One specific person wrote me a long paragraph, and I thought it was genuine. You know, you can't trust everybody. You can't get too close to everybody. So I don't want y'all to think like that. Okay, I got it. I know. But it was the fact that I thought that I thought that she specifically was genuine. And she was just telling me a lie. And I'm not going to disclose that. But if everybody is exiting your life saying the same thing about you, there's things you need to change. Not people online, because people online don't really know you. People in your real life, if they're all saying the same thing, my point. I totally forgot this. So when I was pregnant, I would always try to get her adopted. At this, you know what I'm about to say. Nobody's taking my baby, bro. <clears throat> like. What's stopping you from going to her house, going to her mama house, girl calling up, fuck a meeting, we about to have a sit down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like, you know, if she really just said, listen, I really would like to, to have a meeting with you and discuss, you know, the arrangements with baby Damo. And this is sincerely from the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Period. I, I, we need to discuss this. Because if not, I'm going to do whatever I need to do to take your ass to court if possible. And if that ain't possible, I'm going to just try and get up under you first. I'm, I'm going to try to do whatever I can to make sure that I can see my baby. You know what I'm saying? Period. Like. You're not taking mine. We'll have to fight. No, we're going to have to fight. Fuck all these Instagram, Snapchat videos. That, that's not doing nothing. Sounds like entertainment, doesn't it? Because baby Domo don't see it. And she don't care. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you doing that for? You know? Pull up. <laughs> Earth skirt, pull up. Like, you can. Girl. Time I lived in Indiana, which in 
piano is 100% legal to adopt, 100%. My best friends adopted her girlfriend's baby and it didn't even take long at all. It doesn't take long at all when you have consent from the birth parent. Me being the birth parent, it would have been a quick, easy process. She never wanted to. She always said no. We moved to Arizona when I was about eight. She said that she was procrastinating. Now I was pregnant and I would still tell her, can you please adopt him, please? Like, I want you to have that bond with him. I want it to be fresh off. She did not want to. She did not want to adopt him at all. Now, all of a sudden, she, okay, so she put on Twitter when somebody was like, you a deadbeat. Like, Dominic has one mother and one mother only. You are not his mother. If you would have cared about him, you would have adopted him. She said, I procrastinated, blah, blah, blah. Like, I didn't think that this was going to happen. Bull crap. We were talking about breaking up like a year before we actually broke up. So everything she said is, Yes, but now all of a sudden her excuses, ever since people have been tagging her like, Arizona is not legal for adoption. All we had to do was hire a lawyer and we could have petitioned to adopt because I was 100% on board for her to adopt him. Because I wanted her to have that bond. I wanted him to treat him good. I wanted just dumb stuff, like dumb, like ugh, dumb. And she was just always not want to. She found out on Twitter all this information. Now she changed her answer. Everybody got the screenshot, so you got him. I'm trying to tell you. She in her video, go look at that last video that was a book, a novel, that video. And she said that I just recently discovered that they changed the laws on adoption. She said that verbatim. I might have to insert that video if I find it. But she damn sure said that shit. Okay, cool. When well, she said that she procrastinated, she said, oh, wait. Somebody told me that, so I mean, never mind. It just wasn't legal. Right. That's why I didn't do it. It wasn't legal. Mm -hmm. She never wanted to. She never wanted to be a parent. She used my song for views. She used my song for sympathy. She knows if she ain't got him, she don't have nothing. She knows this. And she has some of y'all in the palm of her hand like, oh my God, look at the picture. Look at the videos. Dominic, this is his other mommy. Sometimes she would come home and he wouldn't even, most of the time, 90%, when she would come home, he wouldn't even notice because he's, she was never there, never home. Where was she? Beats me. But all I know is she wasn't in me and Dominic's presence. I always got my son. I always had my son. He was always at the hip. And if he wasn't on my head, my mom had him. Because she could not watch him by herself. And that's period. What I don't understand is if somebody was, if somebody told me to take my son, right? I'm on your ass. Bitch, I don't give a we fuck. We throw bitch. Listen. We throwing them hands. You not taking my Baby, bro. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What? T when? Try. With the baby in my arms. Tr bitch, try. Bitch, I, girl. I ain't about to be on social media doing the most, living life like I ain't got no kid. I'm going to be at your front door. I'm going to be at your house. I'm getting my baby, period. A person who can go all these months with no contact, but you want to boo boo and cry on social media for sympathy, let you know it's for the cameras. It's literally not for anything other than the cameras. It's for social media. And you sit here and expect me. Like, I can understand. I'm human. I understand. But I can understand if she was reaching out literally the whole time. whole time, like trying to legit. That would have been different. But the fact that you cry, you, you being dramatic on social media because you know that people have soft spots for people who act like they care about their kids. Like a baby daddy. Nigga, like, let me see my son. Nigga, you don't even want to see your son. What are you talking about? Nigga, nigga, like, she, she keeping my kids. She keeping your kids from you. I'm that was you, hilarious. You took Dominic from me. I'm on your ass. ass. I'm fighting for mine. I'm killing for mine. Period. As a mother, that's the mindset you have as a mother. She didn't have that bond with him as a mother. It was like a little brother. It was like a little cousin. It was like like my best friend. It's like the bond my best friend had with him. She is no mother figure. Dominic does not remember her. So it was the last few months that I let her see Dominic. I would literally call her and beg her, can you just please spend some time with him? Spend more time with him. Stop being so brushed up under your bitch and spend time with him. Like, it's okay that you moved on. I've accepted that now. I went through the stages of sadness and grief and stuff like that. But all I'm asking is you just spend more time with him. Focus. And when it's his time, it's his time. And when it's her time, it's her time. Like, I would beg, like, please spend time with him. Stop putting him off. Stop asking. I tried to give her the minute and put her down. I'm like, okay, let me just try. And she will fail. Let me just try again. 
and she will fail. Let me just try it again and again and again and again and again and she will fail. I'm not putting my son through that. My son needs consistency. One day, I'm not saying it will ever happen because I'm good on my own and I always will be. But if somebody comes into my son's life and they want to play a figure role in them, I will let them and I'm never forcing anything ever again and that's my lesson. But I'm not about to be with somebody who don't want to be a parent and that's period. If you're not ready to be a parent, you're not ready to be with me because my son comes first and he always will be and the person I'm talking to now knows that shit. Yes, your son comes first. I respect that like period. I mean, they don't say period, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know I said a lot, but I'm not telling y'all who it is because I feel like a private life is a happy life and I learned my lesson with that shit twice. Damn near. So no, I mean, damn near three times. Right, but I'm not saying shit and my shit is personal. But anyway, my point is don't let this social media stuff fool you. I already told y'all beforehand what she was going to do, what she was going to say, what she was going to do to get sympathy. And she's doing all that and she got y'all in the palm of her hand. I'm going to make this long post and say this because they're just going to eat it up and support me. I'm going to make these videos of Dominic laughing, even though Dominic likes everybody, because Dominic's such a sweet baby. And I'm going to make it seem like he loves me so much and he can't live without me in his life and stuff like that. And you and I both know the truth. Dominic can play with somebody for five minutes and be best friends with them. All you gotta do is play with my son. He's the nicest, friendliest kid I've ever seen in my life. Dominic loves everybody. I don't like my son being used for likes, sympathy, and none of that. Don't use my son because you know it's gonna gain you. Don't use my son because you want sympathy. Don't use my son because you know you're plummeting and your views are down and people see through the bullshit. But now that you're posting a video and you're posting all these pictures and it's going away, you think that I'm gonna go back on my word. No, I'm never going back on my word. I'm letting y'all know this right now. I told y'all that and I said what I said in the video, but I'm never, ever, ever going back on my word. She will never see my son again. She will never hear from my son again. I will never give her another chance because I see how she is. She's only doing this for social media. I've been with her in person every single day. Well, not every single day because most nights she wouldn't come home. But um, I've seen her often around him, okay? And she can't handle it. There was about, there was about four or five occasions that I can remember her actually taking care of him by herself. Without my help, astonishing. When I wake up, it's Dominic. When I go to sleep, it's Dominic. In the middle of the day, it's Dominic. I eat, breathe, sleep, Dominic. That's my baby. I'm a ride for him. And ain't nobody on social media about to tell me, let your ex see him because he's so sad. He misses her. Look at what she posted. Oh my God, she deserves at least a FaceTime call. That's confusing to have somebody keep going in and out their life, in and out. No, I'm doing what's best for my baby and that's period. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the I said what I said video at the end of this video for y'all who didn't see it because I don't want to fall like repeating myself. Everything I said in that video was 100% true. You can take it or leave it, you can believe me or not. At this point, it is what it is. But um, stop posting my son. This will all be settled soon, so I ain't too worried. But you know what you're doing and you know what's wrong. And one day we gonna both have to stand before God and we both will be judged for whatever we did. And I hope you know that what you're doing is wrong. I'm not gonna reach out to you. I'm not gonna speak to you. Dominic is actually better off. He's so much happier. I've never seen him thrive and be so great. Like he's not gonna be judged for doing something wrong because she has no patience. She literally yell at him all the time, cuss him out. And of course I'm defending my baby. I'm all there was not a time, I can say this, I was a weak bitch, but there was never a time that I did not defend Dominic, ever. I might have been weak and cried and stayed, but I always, don't talk to my son like that. I'm not about to sit here and be nice, y'all gotta understand. This is my son we're talking about. This is somebody right. using my son for sympathy. This is somebody using my son to try to pretend like they're depressed and hurt, but really you're depressed because of your mother. I'm not gonna put too much information out there. I'm gonna leave it at where it is, because Whoa. I've got a certain level of respect for you to where I don't want to air out. Whoa. See shit. <clears throat> That ain't none of my business. You get what I'm saying? But baby Dumbo, any child deserves, you know, nothing but love and, and, and respect and all that. But nobody's taking my baby away from me. Period. I thought you was on. Oh. No. <laughs> Nobody's taking my baby away from me, man. Uh, all your dirty laundry. Because that's, I made a, when you made that video about me, I made a whole list of stuff that I was going to just clear up and tell the truth. Apologize for my faults and my wrongs as well. But tell the truth on the shit you said. But I'm like, it ain't even worth it. Because all I really care about, because you're old news, you're an ex. All I really care about is my son. Who you didn't want to begin with. You still don't want, but you want him on social media. I can't even stress that enough. But y'all, I'm about to put this at the end of the video. I said what I said, and I said what I said again in 2019. Stop talking about my son. Don't mention my son. You can sit here and boo-hoo and cry on social media, but you ain't gonna get no sympathy from me. Real people see through real bullshit. Like, it's been four months, baby girl. And the most you've done is wrote a post on social media. Mm. Damn, that's tough. That's, that's tough. Mm. I still pray for you to this day. Like, God, please let her find happiness. Please let her be fulfilled in life. Please let her stop posting myself for likes. I, I want you to honestly be fulfilled, but I want you to not lie, not be devious when you do it. Like, I wish you all the happiness in the world, but you ain't gonna get happiness by doing shit like this. You're not gonna get good karma by doing shit like this. You don't use an innocent child for your likeliness. 
You don't use the energy of the child because you're plummeting. You're getting lower. Try something new. Go out and venture. But don't use my child to do it. Don't use my child to try to get brownie points. I'm going to still continue to pray for you. I'm going to still continue to wish you the best. But when it involves my son, don't do it. Period. So here's I said what I said. And it's my last time saying that shit. All right. I'm going to just link below so y'all can watch it. See y'all next video for Wake's birthday. I'm gonna say that video was an hour too. Ain't no way you put it at the end of it. Nobody. Not now, not then. I don't care. Like, Damo saying what she's saying now? If I. Nobody's taking my baby! I mean, at this point, it is kind of late though for her, but damn, girl. Nobody's taking my baby. Oh, God, you put it, how you see it, where you see it. We're gonna have to throw them hands, baby girl. Yeah. Not mine. You ain't taking mine. But it's okay, y'all. It's whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the next video, okay? For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up to all the trollers. Please say whatever you need to say in the pinned comment. Please. So I can either or block your ass or address it. Alright? Peace out.